Hey all you beautiful fellow human beings, I hope you're doing fantastic. I certainly feel fantastic today. I'm Vergo and this is Psychedelic Actualization. On this channel we talk about topics like self-realization, self-actualization and working with psychedelics to live a more authentic and fulfilling life. Today we're gonna continue the Blue Lotus saga and I have a Blue Lotus essence or extract right here and I'm quite excited to try it. It is from the website Ceremony Vibes, I guess. I will leave a link down in the description below. Um, the site, I mean, I don't want to advertise it. I haven't even tried the product yet, but it seems quite legit, quite a unique guy that is running it. And we're gonna try it today. I'm, I'm excited. Um, so how does this essence work? How has it been made? So the guy explained that he just took the, a bunch of blue lotus leaves and he cooked it and cooked it and cooked it down to his, its essence. So he re reduced it down to a very pure and strong essence or extract. And that is what we're gonna try today. It should be a little bit bitter and I don't know how intense it's gonna be. So the protocol that he recommends is that we're gonna drink half the bottle and to develop a relationship with the plant and connect with it in meditation. And then afterwards I will try to microdose a little bit of it over the next few weeks or month. And yeah, that's, that's how it's gonna be like. Him. Also, he taught me that it's not gonna be a very intense experience, but that it can be a quite a blissful experience. So that is the intention with which I'm gonna go into this Blue Lotus experience today, is tap into that unconditional universal bliss. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is it even possible to have an intense experience with Blue Lotus? I have no idea. Let's find out together. Uh, let's just try it, I guess. I've heard it's also quite bitter, so I don't know. I don't like bitter taste. It smells like Blue Lotus. <laughs> it has a very unique smell to it. I don't know how to describe the smell. Like a little bit earthy, but a little bit flowery as well. I guess let's just try it and see see what happens. Blessings to the medicine. Thank you for this possibility of experience and for the possibility of connection that we can build together here and now. Oh. I don't even know, should you keep it in your mouth or should you swallow it? Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. It is a little bit bitter. But it also has like a, a nice little flavor to it, which I kind of like. Mmm, very interesting. Let's take some more. Not the best taste in the world, but also definitely not the worst that I've tried. I mean, <laughs> in comparison to some ayahuasca brews that I drank, uh, this is very tasty in comparison to that. Mm, should we just drink out of the bottle like a huge chunk because I don't I can't see how much is in there ah who okay that was a lot Ooh. 
Okay, if you take a lot, it's quite bitter. So I guess let's just leave it at that and see how we're gonna feel. I also have an empty stomach, which is always nice for such uh, experiments to let the plants work more effectively and a little bit faster in our system. And I would say now let's just go into a little bit of med meditation. I also have like a little blue lotus joint here that I am gonna smoke during this meditation. Also with a little bit of blue lotus extract in powder form, like 100x extract. I don't know if you can even smoke that stuff, but we're just gonna try and see if it enhances our effects. Cause that is the thing with Blue Lotus. I gotta tell you guys, I have no idea about Blue Lotus. Blue Lotus is, the more I research it, the more it reveals its mystery, right? Cause a lot of you guys have told me in the comment section of my other Blue Lotus videos that a lot of Blue Lotus that you can buy online is fake Blue Lotus. It's not the real Blue Lotus or it's, um, a little bit more modern development of the Blue Lotus plant. It's not the ancient Blue Lotus that the Egyptians used uh, back in the day. And s some people even say there's only a few botanical gardens where, where they grow the real Blue Lotus. And yeah, it's like <laughs> as stupid as it sounds, but I kind of feel like I want to make it a part of my mission to go out and seek out the real Blue Lotus experience because it, it is such an interesting topic uh, and from the Blue Lotus that I've tried in the past in the wine or smoking it I felt just a, a very very subtle effect but I want to go deeper into that experience that's why I purchased the essences and the extracts right now from different kinds of sources to try everything out and see what works and even maybe increase the dosage a little bit and see what works and also like I don't know what to believe anymore because there's so much information out there some people say it's good for lucid dreaming some people say it it's good for um, sexual activity some people it's, it's, say it's good for meditation I, I think everybody has to kind of figure that out for themselves but also there's no like real scientific evidence of can you overdose on blue lotus what if you consume like a whole bunch of it i mean too much from anything is not really good but at what uh, dosage levels does da is there an increase in effect if there even is one uh, or do you feel a, a difference in in microdosing blue lotus because i have no idea i'm gonna try it soon um, but also with microdosing, it's a very difficult topic um, to even track the differences, which I'm going to talk about in other videos um, more in depth. So yeah, let me know what you think about this whole bunch of a mystery of a topic about Blue Lotus in the comment section down below. I'm just going to take a little bit more, smoke that Blue Lotus joint and go a little bit deeper into the intention of experiencing bliss in meditation. So it's been maybe about 20 minutes of meditation. And I definitely do feel different. I do feel different from my baseline level of consciousness. By the way, smoking it is still quite enjoyable. I haven't smoked it at all in the last 
year since I did my last video. After that I started to smoke it like every few days uh, maybe for a month or two but now I haven't smoked it at all and it's it's still very enjoyable to smoke the Blue Lotus and to take it in. Mm. Just very nice taste, very nice to inhale and it doesn't blast you out like, I don't know, cannabis or DMT does. <laughs> and that's what I've noticed, it's, it's still, even though I almost drank the whole bottle of this <laughs> essence or extract, it's still a very subtle change in consciousness. It's a very subtle elevation in my awareness. It's, it's not frightening at all, like sometimes you can get paranoid on cannabis or on other psychoactive substances stuff can get very serious even if you just dabble into it a little bit but this is just like this is just feels very kind and friendly and inviting and i feel very yeah just very relaxed and calm and peaceful in my state of being it's like try to to see if if there's a visual change in my visual field and there is but sometimes i i can't even it's it's so subtle like i can't even differentiate it because in my normal day-to-day -day life i always get a little bit stoned or a little bit high or get these kind of tryptamine experiences when I just do a little walking meditation and meditate a little bit in the middle of nature or even when I'm just in the middle of the city sometimes I, I just get tripped out by everything and have this kind of I don't know tryptamine consciousness but just like the very beginning of it and yeah I don't know this is still very unique to the Blue Lotus um, I'm happy that I definitely felt more than I did the other times that I've tried it. You can watch my other experiments where basically nothing happened right here. Mm. Yeah, and this um, makes me think, as I said in the beginning, is like, is there the potential to go even deeper? Is there the potential to have a not just a subtle experience, but a very deep and intense experience with this plant. I'll try to figure out if you want to follow me along on this mission, subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, I'm going to post a lot of stuff about my insights about life and about my psychedelic experiences with a little bit more intense psychedelics um, or plant medicines. So yeah, I'll continue to microdose that. If anything special happens, I'm gonna report it back. If not, I'm probably not gonna even report it back. And I've also heard you can combine Blue Lotus with a lot of stuff and it kind of works as a little bit of an enhancer with cacao, with bobinsana. Even I'm gonna try it very soon with DMT and infuse my DMT into Blue Lotus plants and of course I'm gonna search further for the real true source of a good blue lotus to unravel this mystery. As I said, if you want to follow along, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and comment your experiences down below. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for being with me here now today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some value out of it even though it's not the craziest experience that I'm sharing right here I want to show and share the real honest truth and if a plant medicine is not very effective or not very intense but works in a more subtle way I just want to share that honestly and openly uh, with you guys so yeah that's it for today as I said thank you very much much love blessings and I will see you in the next one don't forget the link to this product is in the video description below as i said i can't recommend it but i cannot also not recommend it so i i don't know you gotta make that decision for yourself blessings <laughs>